It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, isn't it, friends? I hope you're having a great start to your Monday morning. I'm DJ Madam Mommy. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Madam Mommy Neighborhood Show this morning. Bob Ross is joining me as well, and we are coming to you live from ASMR Studios with our fun new segment, Questions with Madam Mommy and Bob. Now, these are your anonymous listener questions you've been sending in to just kind of see what Bob and I would have to say. So, we're going to get right to it. We have two questions today. The first question is, how do we stop burnout before it starts? And that's an excellent question. So, I wrote down a few tips and tricks for any of you out there experiencing possible burnout or already going through burnout. Get plenty of sleep. That is so important. Rest is very important. And you know it can help you have a restful sleep. Is some ASMR, of course. The next tip, declutter. If we're surrounded by chaos or a mess, that doesn't help us getting burnt out. <laughs> Number three, listen to what your mind and body needs. That's very important. And we have worked on that when we do our ASMR and we do our meditation. So even meditation might help as well. Just take a few moments of your day, close your eyes, and see what your body and mind are telling you. Take a break from electronics. That's very important. <laughs> Move your body. Even just going for a quick five-minute walk might help. Take a break and do something you enjoy. That's a fun one. I think that's very important to remember the things that you love and enjoy and take the time to do those. And last but not least, never, never, ever feel guilty about taking time off. It's so, so important to take a day half a day, anything like that, when you're feeling like it is just too much. That all comes back to listening to your mind and body. I hope that helped answer your question about burnout. If you have any tips or tricks for our fabulous listener, please comment. My last question today is, I would love to hear a funny Vespa story if you have one. Boy, do I ever. <laughs> I have many, but my favorite would have to be any time any one of us in our family would sing the song, How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? Her and her brother Rocky would start howling and kind of like singing along with us. It was the funniest thing ever and we did it quite often because it gave us all a good laugh. I have one video on my phone, I believe, and I will try to include it at the end of this to show you what it was like. They were the cutest dogs, and I miss them dearly. Thank you for tuning in to the Madam Mommy Neighborhood Show this morning. I hope you have a wonderful day in your neighborhood. And remember, if you'd like to send an anonymous question to Bob and I, go to my Instagram stories and click on the link, and we will be happy to discuss your question on air. Until then, remember, you are special, just the way you are. Bye, friends. How much is that dog in the window?